Hey everybody, this is My Collectibles coming back with another video for you. This video is all about the painting, the drop that we got, you know, the grade school Guernica, what it's all about, just giving a little bit of background about it, why I think it's very important, and even just beyond why I think it's important, why it is important. Now, if you want to subscribe to the channel, please do. You can do that down below. You can also join the channel as a member, and if you join the channel as a member, then you get member benefits and I give giveaways on my live streams you know to members and subscribers and if you like the video after just hit like that would be awesome anyway let's get into this painting that's dropped you know it's really important actually in an, in the nft space not just you know for any of its political reasons or any of it any of its messages in it but just even as just a collectible you know just from that point of view from a piece of art and why i think it's really important for people if they can you know maybe to grab one and hold on to it this is very very historical this piece and there's a really a lot of really interesting things about it and I'm gonna dive into some of the history behind it and you know what it's what it's based upon you know and, and also some of the history of the artist and also you know what it's really tributing okay uh, and so let's get into it I hope you enjoy the video let me know down below in the comment section what you think about this painting what you think about this NFT and if you're interested in it if you got it on the drop if you're going after it all of that is really really fantastic okay so let's get into it a little bit so uh, this painting, in case you didn't know, is a tribute to Picasso's Guernica of 1937, all right? And this was the first civilian bombing, basically, in the history of the world, all right? And if you don't know what uh, Guernica is, Guernica is actually a place. It's actually a town, and it's actually in Spain. And in 1937, uh, the, you know, the Germans, right, under Hitler, uh, before the whole war started and everything, they were uh, supporting, you know, people, you know, in Spain and they bombed this little town uh, and blew it to bits okay and so Picasso you know you if you don't know who Picasso is he's obviously a really famous painter you know of the 20th century and Picasso you know is actually from that region and so he wasn't there at the time but he actually was doing a different painting and he decided to paint this large painting called Guernica and it is pretty much the most famous uh, war sort of uh, painting that we may have in the world. I mean, there's been plenty of paintings throughout history, you know, painting about war situations and things like that. But this particular one was actually really, really influential and super famous. So let's just take a look at the artist first for Ron English as then we'll get into the Picasso. So this is Ron English in case you didn't know and he's a really cool artist. He's got a lot of amazing work, all right? And he did an entire series based upon Picasso's Guernica and he has them all displayed. He did tons of paintings using Picasso's uh, influence and you know the messaging to do and do a bunch of other messaging and you can actually go I'll put a link to the description in the description to this article that explains about like why he did a whole series on this painting and some of them are incredible now the one that we got in Vivi is actually just one of them that he did and uh, you know it was done in 2011 and we'll get into that in just a sec but you can go and check it out and some of these some of these works of art are amazing now there's a lot of like you know messages in some of these so take it as you will art is subjective and so are the messaging right so that's what it's all about, right? So this isn't any kind of like endorsement of his art or anything like that or endorsement of his messages. This is just me telling you a little bit about the history and the background behind him and, you know, about his paintings, right? So go check out the article. It's down below. And uh, I think you'll find a really interesting read, right? So um, this is actually Guernica right here. In case you didn't know, this is the Picasso painting that this whole thing is based upon. And you can see the size of it. This is a young child right there in front of it. And this painting is displayed. It's absolutely massive. Right. So let me just read you a little excerpt about this. OK. OK. So probably Picasso's most famous work, Guernica, certainly his most powerful political statement. All right. Painted as an immediate reaction to the Nazis devastating uh, casual bombing practice. All right. On the on the little town of Guernica during the Spanish Civil War. So this is what happened. The Nazis went in and they just 
bomb the heck out of this place, killing almost everybody, you know, destroying the town. And, it, you know, it wasn't really even a military target. It was basically their way of testing their advanced, you know, warfare before they actually started attacking Europe and everything. And so they just bombed this place. And there was like, you know, certain reasons behind it. You can get into all that if you want to read about it, right? But Guernica shows the tragedies of war and the suffering it inflicts upon individuals, um, particularly innocent civilians. Okay, so that's the point of this, particularly innocent civilians, right? This work has gained a monumental status, becoming a perpetual reminder of the tragedies of war, all right? Just the overall tragedies of war on everybody. I think we can all agree. And it's an anti-war symbol and an embodiment of peace, all right? So if you look into the painting, you can get really deep into it. You can go check it out on Google. You can search it. You can read all about it. You know, basically the bull over here is like a symbol of fascism at the time. And there's the horse over here, which is like a symbol of like the people. And then you can see there's like bombing going on. And it was quite that like Picasso did this in response. Right. And so then this this painting went on a tour around uh, at that time. And, you know, it really brought to the attention of what was going on. And it was, it's still one of the most famous paintings in, uh, in the world, basically, you know, just in the world. So, uh, you know, obviously the artist of our nft and vivi used this painting as inspiration did a whole series on them right and so like i said this is the painting that we have and this is called grade school guernica just in case you didn't know and i'll tell you a little bit about the history of it i mean it's right from you know the medium article on vivi so you can check it out as well right and you can check out the whole series that the artist has done right so anyway this is the it places the so this let me just read what they wrote for you okay so you don't have to grade school guernica places the action within the schoolyard carnival all right which children uh, are both the bombers okay and uh the bomber pilot and the terrified civilian so children are in both positions right so think about what that means right <laughs> overlaid with colors of the ukrainian flag the image demands that we not look away from the true victims of all war children all right so this is his message in his painting and this was actually the message in the painting originally and this wasn't done for vivi like but this this variation was put together as an nft for vivi so this was existing before the drop right before vivi obviously right and so there's 4,444 editions and it is a secret rare so even just collectability it is really quite something all right but if you go back and you look at the original painting in the real world it is quite amazing as well it doesn't have the cover overlays or anything like that but you know this also goes you know for like you know the the what they're trying to do with sending money to refugees and everything so that's a really positive but even just as a collectible alone without any of that it's actually an astounding nft to own okay so let's get into it a little bit more now these are just some of the other paintings that ron english has done in this series that he did and you can go online and check these out you know there's a series of girls because you can see the inspiration and the influence and there's messages behind each one of these ones if you look them up right you can go into them it's really quite fascinating and if you really love art as much as I do uh, my background is graphic design you know as well as my old toy store and all that but that's what I went to school for that's my real job that's what I do so I took art history classes and it's really fun to do you should really think about getting into it if you haven't it's great to learn about art and about artists and what the meanings behind it. and then of course you can like or dislike the art it's up to you art is all subjective right so anyway <laughs> so let's get into it another one right here this is just another example of some of his stuff this one has a lot of political views you know specifically the guy in the middle you can talk about what that is if you go and check this particular painting out it's quite i'm not going to get into all that right but it's quite something and he did a whole series of them and they're quite amazing right so let's just cruise past this so why is guernica important okay so why is this particular drop important well in my opinion this is one of the most important drops we've ever had on vivi and the reason is because it's basically the first wartime NFT with political statement that we've actually probably ever had in the NFT space, you know, at least from a, a very prominent artist or a very prominent, you know, platform such as Vivi. So it's pretty important like this historically could be looked back upon as like wow this was a really big drop and the paintings and everything in the real world are very very uh popular and very known and so you know this is also connecting to that right and so it proceed you know and, and then and then like aside from all of that just the collectability and the proceeds from this one you know are going to help you know the victims of war which is you know everybody right everybody who's not involved in like the the why things are happening or they're not 
not in control of why things are happening. They have no views. They're just like the, the innocent victims of war. And that was Picasso's painting as well. And that was what this one is pretty much about as well, right? So anyway, I hope you liked the video. I just wanted to give you some background on it. Click the link to the uh, 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 to the article down below that I, that, it's not my article. I just thought it gives you more background about uh, his paintings, you know, and about like the series of Guernica. And then check out Picasso's work as well. Go and look at it. If you want to break down, there's probably YouTube videos about it where they talk about the painting itself. And if you ever get a chance to see this thing in real life, it is absolutely astounding. You know, you have to go, obviously, if you're in North America, you have to go over to Europe to see it, you know, but you know, you can go online and check it out as well, right? But we have this, uh, you know, amazing NFT drop today. It's for like a really good cause, you know, it has, it's not a political statement about, you know, anything. It's really just helping, you know, people who are victims of war, which I think is pretty amazing, right? So let me know what you think. I hope you liked the video. We'll see you in the next video and happy collecting.